Hey Gary, I'm gonna show the walkthrough. We're on the water right now with your boat. We're gonna go through and show you everything. I'm gonna start, I'm actually gonna turn the motor off here and um, show you start from starting it and kind of go through our controls here at the captain's seat. Uh, one thing you wanna know, this is adjustable. So you can adjust it to however you're comfortable here. Your seat can adjust forward, backwards, it can recline. So you wanna get comfortable, make sure it's set to you. Um, you have here, you do have to be in neutral to start the boat. Uh, if you want to pump it, which on cold days or if it's been sitting for a while, you may want to, you press this button in here and then in neutral that pumps gas through. With this new motor, you shouldn't have to do that very often um, or really at all, but it helps to know it just in case anything does. Um, then you just turn the key and it starts right up. It's going, it's a real quiet motor, um, just runs very easily. Uh, you can, when you uh, start off, you can trim up here when you're moving, but when you start to drive, you want to trim down. So that's just this little button here, up and down. And then uh, it clicks in. There's this little here, it's kind of my, like a trolling motor barely moving before you actually go into gear, which I'm in a cove right now, so I'll show you it moving here in a minute. And then reverse, just backwards, nice and easy. There's also kind of like a trolling setting that's a lot slower. And then you can actually give it more gas backwards. I'm gonna put it in neutral right now. Um, and sit here with you. You do have uh, all your buttons here. You have miles per hour, shows you where your trim, you know, you can see that the trim's all the way down now, half a tank of gas and your RPMs here. You do have your fish finder here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have Russ come show you the screen a little bit better. Right now, it's just kind of going through the depths uh, as we're floating here. And it goes through these little screens. You can set it up different ways to show however we want. And I'm gonna have Russ show you these right here. So to turn your stereo on, you flip this one up here, and then you can actually power your radio is down over here. He's gonna bring it, it's down to the left of the steering wheel. And you can do your Bluetooth or your different settings, AM, PM, however you want. Bluetooth, aux, AM, FM, uh, volume down, up, and go through whatever you want. You even have your aux USB or like a charging port there. Um, and then if you, you're going to want, so you don't waste your batteries to actually flip that off when you're not using it. You have your nav lights in the front, which is your red and green. Um, they're in the front when I'm off the boat. I'll show you because right now, you know, getting down there obviously is an option in the water. And then your anchor light is up on your bimini, um, which I'll also show you off. But you, so it's down to the anchor, which is in the rear of the boat and forward to the front nav lights. And then in the middle to shut this switch off for your lights, your navigation lights. Um, this has a bilge pump if you ever added live well, but it's not active right now because it does not have one. The same with these, there's, this is an extra lighting option that you can add later on that's wired for, but it doesn't have. This is your docking lights. So you front them on and then that's your headlights, your bright LED lights in the front. And it turns red right here so you can see when it's on. Um, once again, these are just accessories you can add that are not on this model right now. Um, and that is our helm seat here. Oh, also your horn is right here above. So you can hear your horn going. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Thank you.